Hey guys, welcome back. It's me Rajan Sharma and in this tutorial guys, I will show you that how can we implement this image sharing functionality with this forward button and this text view here and this timing text here. Okay guys, in chatted application using Firebase. Okay guys, so first of all, you can see that here uh, I am running this application in two devices. First is emulator, second is my physical device. So guys, when I will open this Rajan Sharma here, so you can see that now it is online and this one is all also online. And the moment I will type something, so it is showing is typing. Okay. And the moment I will remove it, so it is showing online. I will go back last scene. Okay, guys. So you can see that this complete functionality is working absolutely okay. And we are having other features as well, like search, clear chat. These tutorials are already out now. So in case if you have not seen those videos, please click on the i button and you can also open the description. I will give its link. Okay. So guys, so now in this tutorial, we will mainly focus on that how can we implement this image? Okay. How can you share image like this? and with this text view like whatsapp this forward button and this uh, text okay guys and uh, we will also handle some problems like uh, for example in case if you will open the application for sending someone message so sometimes it crashes okay so i will also explain you the reason why it is happening okay and we will see some more you can say silly mistakes or minor errors that causes crashing okay guys so you can see that this is the main functionality that we are going to implement in this tutorial so without wasting time, let's start. So guys, very first of all, what you have to do is you have to open this message item. Okay. XML. And here you can see that uh, I'm not going to show you the step by step coding for saving time. Okay. And you can see that this is a very basic layout and I'm using a constant layout here. Okay. And uh, see, this is a linear layout. Okay. And then we are using this uh, constant layout inside this constant layout. I will show you the complete code. Don't worry. Okay. So this is a constant layout and uh, we are giving this ID first of all, and then some basic uh, uh, attributes like width, height and padding. Okay. And uh, in case if you want, so you can reduce, you can make changes in this layout file, but make sure you use all the attributes that I'm using because in Java part, we will require it. Okay. Because in Java part, we will need it. So first of all, I'm using a very basic text view, which is for showing the message that you will add with a photo. Okay, guys, so you can see it's code here. Okay, done. Now, second thing we will come on the second text view, which is for time here. You can see and it's constant is also visible here. Okay, how can you fix it? You can see that this last one is joined with this image view and this right side which is joined with this one here. Okay, so this is second text view. It's code is also visible. Now we are using the main image view. Okay. So this is our image view for sharing or forwarding the image. Okay. So this is how it is done. So you can see that how I have fixed the constraint. This one to this, this one to this one and this one to this one. Okay. So it is appearing here. Fine. Now and uh, this is the and I will also give this image of sharing in source code part. Okay. So join membership now for accessing source code. And guys, I'm really sorry for the background noise. Okay. Now, uh, this is the image view where, where we will exactly share the image. Okay. So I'm just adding this uh, uh, chatted icon for showing you the size, length and width of the image view. Okay. So you can see the complete functionality of or attributes of the image view. Okay. And guys, the important thing here in this time text view is that you have to add a line which is very important and which is elevation 100 dp. Okay. Elevation 100 dp is very important. That is how it will be visible over the image view. Otherwise, it will go behind the image view. So it will not, it, you may not be able to see it. Okay. So you have to add this line elevation 100 dp. Please do not forget to add this line. Now you have to uh, do the same thing for this center side also. Okay. So I will show you the code for centers so, uh, constant layout as well. So you can see that this is a constant layout code. First one is the ID, then some basic uh, like layout gravity right and the padding 5 dp okay now here then we will start with this uh, text view for the image same thing okay you can see it's code here pause the video write the quotes then we will come on the second text view which is for time elevation 100 dp is very important keep in mind okay now then after that you have to use this for sharing the image okay so this is how you can write the quotes for sharing image fine then guys this is the important image view where we will show the image here it is okay and you can see it's constants as well okay guys so now this is a constant layout for the this message part but that is i have already shown you so guys this is how you can uh, create a layout file for sending images okay and in case if you want the complete source code join membership now okay and you can also send me money on paypal upi google pay phone pay whatever you have just let me know in comment section and you will get the source code 
now we will come on the main functionality which is java functionality okay guys so first of all very first of all here you can see that things that you need to increase which is uh, time tvs time tvr which is a text view attribute okay guys then you have to change linear layout to this constant layout cls constant layout sender clr constant layout receiver okay it is a short form now you have to increase some image views so after this iv reaction r2 you have to add two image views which is share r photo share s photo okay and you can also add this uh, uh, iv r photo iv s photo okay guys so you have to increase four image views more iv r photo iv s photo share r photo share s photo fine now after that you have to give its reference i think which is a very easy part so here you can see that i have given reference for all the child that i have added okay it's a very simple part yes now we will proceed so first of all you have to open this if current user id equals to suid so inside this image tag you have to write this part of code okay simple very simple picasso dot get dot load i have already shown you this part so many times if you are following my tutorials from the very first video of this channel then you guys must have idea about what is picasso and how exactly it works so you just have to simply use this library for loading the image okay i know that we are using whatsapp architecture for storing storing images locally in that inside the device but we will also focus on that part later but for now for making the thing simple and easy to understand just implement this picasso okay guys so you have to write down this part of code inside this image tag and for the uh, text part you have to code this okay and uh, this is a code for reaction which i have already shown you so nothing is very complicated now you have to uh, open this for receiver side so if the image is uh, available then you have to write this code and if it is text you have to write down this code okay so this is very simple basic functionality that you need to add in order to implement the image part okay guys and uh, for the source code join membership and few more tutorials are about to come and then this application will be really good okay because we i will add more good features now we will talk about the uh, problems that were causing crashing okay guys in message activity we are going from two places first one is show users second one is fragment one so guys in fragment one data is only visible when you send any message to that user so that user comes in your chat list okay chat window but now here the problem is guys when you open the message activity from show users so whenever you go to send someone the very first message in the application so it causes crashing because what happens whenever you click on that button for whenever you click on the username and you open the message activity so inside message activity guys we have a method of updating scene okay and uh, just a minute i will show you analyze and just uh, folding collapse all it will close yeah so here you can see that we are having this method update scene so whenever user open this application open this activity so it automatically runs this code and what happens because this kind of uh, child is not existing in real time database that's why it cross it just simply crashes the application and that's not a really good thing okay so what here i have done is uh, whenever uh, just a minute so whenever user will open this so what i will do i have done a very little very basic validation okay yes so here you can see that uh, when user will open the message activity from show users so with that intent i will pass one more thing which is scene type and it is equals to no okay so it means that user are coming from show users activity it means that there is no existing message child in real time database so there is no need to update scene so it will not crash the application so here you can see that i am passing this s type which is scene and when i will go from fragment one so here i am passing string type as yes so when this is yes so it will update the scene and when it is no it will not update the scene okay so first of all open show users and go inside this folder name tc dot set on click listener then create a very basic string which is scene type no okay and uh, you can create this uh, from here scene type string and just simply pass the value no and just simply send it with s type scene type and then open this fragment one and here you have to add the s type as yes and inside this message activity you have to take that s type data and how can you take it very simple here okay so here again you have to create a string of name scene type get intent get string extra s type okay guys and if you don't know how to declare a string let me show you here it is just write down string make sure it's caps lock then scene type and then here you can get that scene data okay guys here s type and make sure this s type should be same otherwise you may not be able to fetch the data here it is s type and here it is s type and uh, so you have to give same here and when you will get this data scene type and 
now here we are doing the validation if scene type equals to no we will do nothing if it is else it means that it is if it is yes so we will update the scene okay guys so it will avoid the crashing of the application so guys i hope you guys understood what i'm trying to say okay and in case if you face any other error or like crashing or the application is not working so you can let me know in the comment section you can ask on instagram you can ask on telegram okay anywhere you want and you can also join the discord server okay of my channel i have added its link in the channel about okay so i really don't have so much idea about discord but uh, people say that it, it is a good platform to talk with your subscribers or your community okay guys so if you want to contact with me so you can also join the discord server i hope you guys like this tutorials please like share and subscribe my channel and do not forget to press the bell icon so you will never miss any update thank you for watching